Hey guys, Provincial Claude Opper here. Gonna do a five day trip on the Thames. With the goal to make it all the way down to Lighthouse Cove, Lake St. Clair. I've got fellow YouTuber Random Andrew here with me. He's bringing in his canoe. This is the first time he's done the Thames. I think he's really gonna like it. We got some uh, wildlife already. Some ducks. I've seen a hawk up the up the hill. Beautiful day, calling for some uh, rain, thunder showers throughout these five days, but that's no big deal. We'll get through it all. But, enough of videotaping, let's get going. Okay, man, but it ain't so bad. No, it's not bad. We're on the water, just left. We're on our way. It's pretty shallow over here too, bro. Big rock right here. You'll go right over it. You'll go right over it. Oh yeah, you'll go right over it. Gonna head right for this. White cap for you guys. Let's get some water in the boat here. Oh, oh, oh. Not as much water as I thought, but. Got a turtle and a bird on there. No, no, that's weird, eh? When there's white white water, there's no rocks, but yeah. Coming up to the old spring bank down. The ruins. Great that we got Andrew out here. If you haven't uh, seen his YouTube, go over to Random Andrew. He's got some nice videos, especially if you're local. St. Thomas, Ontario, so he's got a good vlog going too. So what do you think of the trip so far, Andrew? I don't think I've stopped smiling since we got in the water. <laughs> on the water. We haven't been in the water. No, I no. Swear, we're still dry. But so, it's awesome. Great trip. Lots to see so far. Uh, oh. I think I'm already halfway through my first battery. I gotta learn to slow it down a little. <laughs> Lunchy time. Oh yeah. That's a good trip. Nice day. Get some food into us and keep it going. I want her own boat, eh? Oh yeah, she's got her own kayak. Yeah, little eight footer. She calls it little blue and calls this one big blue. Yeah, she likes doing this stuff. Not all the time, but she gets out with me. I'd like to think that if I still had Artie, that uh, I'd have her out doing that. Kind oh of yeah, thing. and she'd, she'd be, be loving it. Pilot, though. She'd be sitting in the front. Yeah. Oh, there's a rock right here. <laughs> I was seeing that. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, see? Not exactly sure what that is. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it 
definitely is right around <laughs> I love the rapids, man. I love them. You were in center frame for that whole thing, that whole day. That's why I backed Nice. Alright, we're going to pull over onto this rocky bank here and uh, have another quick bite to eat, stretch the legs, and uh, smoke another doobie. Shorts. You recording me? Yeah. yeah. They couldn't hear. I don't think they could hear what you're saying, so I had to let them know that you were fixing your shorts, even though they could see it. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna go through some fast water here. Not too bad though. There's nothing really scary on this water, so. Yeah, Not this time of year. A little more time in the water, get longer section than last time. This is gonna fun happen. Really impressed with how up the water is from the last time I was down here. Rock, big rock right here. Big rock. Stay over this side. Oh, fuck. Sorry, YouTubers, for the language. Hope you don't mind.
It's all shallows over there, bud. You need to get over to the left. Caught up up there. Right there. Right beside me. I was <laughs> He's made it through. Oh, <laughs> well, we just passed Kilworth. Well, we're going through Kilworth. Coming up to the bridge with the rapids that I love. I see some people over there uh, doing something. I don't know what they're doing. They got nets, so probably cray fishing. Going for the white water, folks. What did you think of those ones? That was pretty fun. Oh yeah, I got water in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was fun. Waves splashing off the bow and everything. Oh yeah. the hop. Are you going to fish through the rapids? Yeah.
That was a good one. That was a little bit more exciting than it needed to be. Hey guys, we're just more than halfway through our uh, trek for today. We just decided to pull over. Gonna catch a little bit of a buzz, relax in the shade a little bit. But overall, it's been a great day, a great paddle. Pretty effort, effortless. Some nice uh, rapids going through. Andrew's having a blast. For his first time on the Thames? Not the first time on the river. Well, okay, first time going down the river. The Thames River. Uh, so. This is an actual river adventure. Damn right it is. I've done the French River, but it's just, it's not like this where you have flow, where you have current, rapid, well, you have rapids up north, but you won't hit them in these. Mm. You shouldn't. No, no, not really at all. But uh, you think now would be a good time to tell your people? And then I'll tell mine after. What's that? We would like to do a big push from London to St. Clair, Lake St. Clair, on the River Thames with as many boats as possible. Yes, let's get a group. Let's get a group thing going. Especially group YouTubers, trip. Other YouTubers as well to share this experience and show how much fun it can actually be. Yep. Yeah. Paddling, fishing, camping, good times. We still got lots, lots of good times left to go. We're only on day one. <laughs> vlogging, you vlogging. <laughs> Vlogception. I'm vlogging, you vlogging. He's vlogging. We're all vlogging. <laughs> this little guy seeing lots of turtles like him. Would you call them soft shells? Yep. That's definitely another little soft shell turtle. Not like a taco. That's a very small turtle. <laughs> Looks bigger zoomed in, but... Well, we had to make an emergency call. Night fell on it. We had rain and then night fell on us. We couldn't get a, a decent camping spot, but luckily down there, a, you can't really see it, but down there is a Sharon Creek runoff. Those stairs, so we I decided to investigate. It led up to this field. So we got Andrew set up over there. I'm set up over here in kind of this 
a little bit of tall wet grass. We got a fire going. And we're already hearing coyotes. Not even nine o'clock at night. We're hearing coyotes. Mm -hmm. Well, it might be about nine o'clock now. But we're gonna get this fire going a little bit bigger so we can get our kebabs on the go because we're both starving. It's been a long day, but definitely a pleasurable one. What do you say, Mr. Andrew? It's a good day. Good. Yeah, damn right. Eight and a half hours of paddling. Oh yeah. yeah at least. Now we gotta have some good food, get some good sleep, get back on the water tomorrow. I think I found the lumpiest spot in all the grass again. <laughs> I'm good at that. Me too, bro. Me too. I just haven't bothered to check my spot out yet. Well, we got supper on the grill. Two beef kebabs, right from Pete Charlton's uh, what is it? P. Charlton's. I don't know. P. Charlton's meat market, Butcher anyways. On Ross. But yeah, Butcher on Ross Street in St. Thomas. So, Same got them over some nice hot coals. Those are some big kebabs. And we got lots of stars tonight. Oh, yeah. Can't see them. But they're there. Yeah. Well, it's about one o'clock in the morning. Here, get some light on me. Just heading to bed. Andrew's been in bed for about half an hour. I just wanted to keep the fire going. It's a good day, so it was a good day, so I can't wait for tomorrow. Good night guys. Good morning guys, just getting up, heard coyotes all night, and these stupid crows or ravens won't shut up, but it's almost 7.30 so, time to get up at, get up and at her, get something to eat, pack up, get back on the water. Well, we just got packed up, got our site all packed up. Nothing, nothing gonna be left except for a uh, little fire pit there. And crop circles. And crop circles. Had some aliens visit us last night along with coyotes and everything else, so. Yeah, I'm about to get this day on the go. Hopefully we make it all the way to Wardsville tonight, but if not, Dutton it is. Dutton Glencoe area, anyways. But see you on the water. Yeah. There's the Muncie Oneida Bridge. Once we passed it, we are on native territory for at least the next four to five hours. So far, been a good day. Seen a couple eagles. They flew off quicker than I get my camera going, so hopefully, I'll get to see more. Get to show them to you. I know. Finally getting a tailwind. Paddling through the reserve right now. A lot of nice area that just doesn't get used. Probably a good thing though. It's been a scorcher of a day. Having to chase shade. Dip our hands and feet in the river. Damn hot would suffice. Yes, very much so. So we get.
get to go by right now. Andrew's floating down the street. Isn't that awesome? Oh, I got held up by a stick. I have to, I have to break myself free here. <laughs> Sorry, people. I'm trying to hold a camera and paddle around these at the same time. That is Melbourne Road Bridge. We're going to be uh, camping right to the right of it. As soon as you see the Sandy Hill, right to your right. That's where we're getting out. It's before. Does it go all the way up and just sand? Just a path? Before you could drive a vehicle down it. Oh my. How a month changes things. Oh yeah, that's, that's not that bad. But it used to be just pure sand. That's it though. That is what we're going up. Well, got camp set up. Decided to pull out early. At Melbourne Road, because I didn't want to be stuck looking for a camp spot in the dark again like last night, because I doubt we'd have the same luck. But that's where our boats are. Mine's on the side of the hill, and Andrew's is tied off. There's a Melbourne Road Bridge. Andrew was up there filming. Ended up uh, texting my wife, my very awesome wife. See if she'd come and uh, visit us. She's gonna do that, she's gonna come visit me. Well, Andrew's here too, but she's coming to visit me. She's gonna bring us to Timmy's as well as a couple two-liter bottles of coke because flavors just makes things a little bit more enjoyable he went up there and around speaking of which there he is right there I'm gonna zoom in on him No, you're a well. Now I'm getting you in focus. <laughs> now you're out of focus. We just had something leap from tree to tree up here. I saw 
some big paw prints in the mud down here. Oh yeah? Yeah, like big three class paw prints. Wolverine was down there hacking at the mud or something. Nice. Oh, I got land legs. It's nice to know that we uh, have a superhero <laughs> around here, so. Yeah, uh, I don't know if he showed his vlog, so I might as well show you guys. <laughs> People have been dumping stuff in here. This is actually like a little river access area. That almost looks like a yeah. fantasy. Oh, look at that. They got an aquarium dump tree here. You want a Santa suit? <laughs> no. Oh no, it's an inflatable Santa. An inflatable Santa, there's okay. a couch. Kids, don't watch. <laughs> Just rewind and don't watch the last 30 seconds. Idiots dumping stuff. Oh, okay. Oh. But now I'm just going to chillax and wait for my wife to bring us her drinks. Yeah, oh. Well, That'd be nice if she brought Union Burger too, but I doubt that she will. Oh, I'm so glad that you could see me. There, there we go. Just put it on them. <laughs> Well, this, uh, we're all set up. My, uh, hang on, I got you, I got you, bro. <laughs> My wife uh, came, delivered us coffees and uh, a couple two-liter bottles of Coca-Cola. They just took off about five minutes ago, ten minutes ago. And we're just going to sit here and chill out for a little bit and head to bed. So we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. Morning day three, we're up early, got camp pretty much torn down, packed up, just gonna have some breakfast, some coffee, get ready to get on the water, with the goal of making it to Wardsville, maybe even a little bit beyond depending on uh, how early it is today, so if we can make it through uh, Moravium Town and get to Thamesville with lots of time, that'd be cool too, but Wardsville's the target. Wardsville, no less. Oh, yeah. Last night, yeah. had a hard time sleeping because we kept hearing bangs and splashes down here at the water, but our boats are down there and safe, so. I think it was a raccoon fell off the bridge. <laughs> it could be. It <laughs> could be. Like. Yeah. They're pretty loud, splashes and bangs anyway, so. Anything hit the water from that height would be loud. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to chill. Take your time, relax. Probably on the water by 9, 9.30, so. All right, see you on the water. Well, we got in the water at 10 after nine. On our way to, well, the first bridge will be in between Dutton and Eckford. But I think it's a few hours to get there, but it's a beautiful day. Already feels like it's about 30 degrees. Supposed to get up to feeling around 42, 44 today. Darn bug, get off me. Andrew's handling that canoe like a champ in these waters. Yeah, beautiful scenery. Other than the train I hear, you don't hear uh, anything but nature, so. Really loving this trip. I love the random nature moments. Little baby ducky. Got like a mini quack. Yep. Fishy. Yeah. Good 
Yeah, she was a jumper. Well, we're making our way towards Wordsville, and we got this system coming in. Got some thunder going. It's likely going to hit us. It'll just be refreshing, really. The rain will. Such a hot day. But, figured I'd film this now. Because once it starts down for you, I'm not going to film, I'm not going to pull my uh, camera out in that. So, don't know if you hear that off the distance. But definitely getting thunder. Alright, so hopefully we'll get through this and uh, we'll get to, yeah, look we'll back there. Get through this and get some video later on. Finally got one. Been seeing them fly away all way down river. I finally got one on film for you guys. A Canadian bald eagle. Yeah, at least seen his passport. Yep. Can't call him American anymore. And there's the next bridge. Nice. Storm went by. Sorry about the lack of stability. I don't have uh, my tripod hooked up right now. I just grabbed the camera out to get the bald eagle. But storm went by, gave us a little bit of rain. It was all good. So I'm gonna have to say for the first third part of the journey, if we were measuring it in thirds, we had uh Well that's not from the hand. Damn it. I was trying to I was trying to get close up of this squirrel that was all the way down at the bottom. Did you get him? No, no, yeah, so as I was zooming in he kept getting out of focus and out of like out of oh. Yeah. Imagine that little black squirrel down here and he ends up running all the way back up. I think he just can't he didn't even come down to get a drink. I don't know what the hell he was doing. Well folks. I didn't record last night because uh we really had a difficult time finding a spot. This is what we ended up with. Basically just a little rocky shoal amongst a finger of rocky shoals. Andrew ended up sleeping in his canoe. I found a little hard muddy bank right there that I was able to half-ass pitch my tent on. Yeah. Wasn't the greatest of sleeps. Wasn't the greatest of spots. But... It was already dark, it was like 9, 9.30. So, we we had to search around and find something. Everything else was uh, real muddy banks. Yeah, that sound you hear is Andrew taking a whiz behind me. You wish. <laughs> and what was that? <laughs> Big explosion. Yeah, so... And chill here for a little bit, grab maybe grab something to eat and head on out. We already know we're not gonna make Lake Sinclair, so hopefully Thames if we make Thamesville today there's a chance we could a small slight chance we can make Chatham tomorrow, but highly doubt it. We're thinking if we hit Thamesville today and it's decent enough we'll probably pull out today, so <clears throat> 
<laughs> Back on the water. Andrew's not steering and he's uh, bumping into me. As he's uh, vlogging about eating his scrambled eggs on the boat. But yeah, we're just uh, going to take her slow. We'll probably be uh, pulling out today, ending the day, or ending the trip a day early. Because we're not going to make it to Lake St. Clair anyways. Probably won't even make it to Chatham. Even if we uh, did do the full trip. It doesn't seem like we will. We so we'll make it to Chatham if you didn't have to go home early. What? Well, yeah, we would make it to Lake St. Clair if I didn't have a doctor's appointment. I'd just stay out a couple extra days. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to probably pull out around Moravian Town or uh, Thamesville, so still a good trip. Now I'm going to put this away because <laughs> as uh, going sideways and we got, uh, at the very least, some fast moving water up here, so, yeah. I think I see a piece of a paddle in there too. Yeah, I know. Oh, it I... is partially deflated. One corner of it. Still surprised someone would, uh. Just let it go? Yeah. Let it go, let it go. Don't be singing no frozen songs now. No. Well, this trip is officially done. This is a bridge just before Moravian Town or at Moravian Town. That's what we had to pull our boats up. Wasn't as bad as what we were thinking. I'm tired I said a little bit, but I still got some gear down there I gotta bring up. But yeah. It was a good trip. Didn't get to go all the way this time, but there'll be plenty, plenty of other opportunities. I'm pretty satisfied with this trip. Three nights, four days. Well, almost four days. We're pulling out. It's 10.30, so in the morning. So, three nights, three days, really. And we're going to call it done. Thanks for watching, guys. Please if you like this video please subscribe if you want to like and comment I'll be sure to message you back thanks